Welcome back to the channel. Now, last week, Luca came for a lesson with me. Luca was struggling with shanks, with his irons, and hitting the ground before the golf ball, really couldn't get any consistency with his strike. But 20 to 30 minutes into the lesson, I got him consistently striking his irons, pretty much central on the face. And today, I'm gonna to share with you the exact three-step process, because I think it's really gonna help you as well. So before Andy gets started on how he fixed Luca, we wanna know how he can fix you. So what problems have you got going on with your golf game right now? Put them down in the comments. We'd love to help you out. And also, we may even do a video on that as well. Okay, so look, let's, let's go through Luca's golf swing really and just show you the first step in what we did really so if you look at what uh, Luca's back swings like as he swings away his first move away is pretty good but as he gets sort of halfway back or waist height should I say the arms go very high the arms lift really upright so way higher really than than they need to be now what happens here now is because they're so high the initial movement is steep on the way down the shaft gets pretty vertical on the way down and you'll see now as a result what happens is his body tends to stall but he hits the ground way before the golf ball you can see the moisture coming off the mat and then he hits it at the hosel and the ball shoots off to the right so the first thing that we did with him the first thing was really addressing what his arms were doing his move away was really nice he was on plane at the start but then he'd have this lifting motion with the arms a little too much so the first thing that we did with him really is we said look let's see if we can get your lead arm to be a little bit closer to the shoulder plane so the angle of the shoulders here so Luca was up here what we wanted is the arms to be a little bit more round here now think about this we've got a plane line in here if we swing back and get the arms really high ideally what we want to do for consistency in, in golf really is get the club somewhat close to the plane now if my arms are here it means I have to then make a lot of different compensations in order to get it there so for the majority of golfers Pierce as well that we would always see for the majority not all more advantageous to have the arms closer to the shoulder plane on the way back isn't yeah. it tall pros can have funky looking back swings because they learn and they can get it back into the positions into the slots we may say yeah but as an amateur golfer the average golfer let's just make the backswing as easy as possible to prime you ready for the downswing and I think that was exactly what you're doing I love it you told me before obviously really excited about how you showed you can show people how you went through these changes. exactly so what, what I did with Luca I just really I, I moved him into the position so his arm was more across his body and he said um, this feels like a baseball swing yeah so feeling really flat so that's great because he could access that and have that feeling when he swung the golf club and he did a few few golf swings and he was getting closer he still wasn't striking it at the middle yet but that's why we moved on to phase two and three but a great thing for you to do if you're somebody who gets a little steep with the arms is simply just take the club in front of you get the club head around about chest height and just make some swings here imagine the golf ball is is literally up there now this will help you get this more rounded motion so from here the arms and the body are going to work together but we're going to have this more rounded motion with the arms here and we see often just so much up and down motion with the arms chopping across it this is really good if you're looking to shallow out that golf swing and just to create the feeling of the arms working more in conjunction with the body and the backswing really so once you've done that i suggest then you maybe even just tee the golf ball up put the golf ball on a fairly high tee for an iron yep and just have the feeling of just trying to clip it off there so the feeling of that sort of flat baseball swing arms are a little bit more round i want you to feel as if you can take the ball without really taking any of the turf so nice and easy arms and body together Ball's working from right to left and you can see the tee still in place here haven't took any ground and that's just a good indication that I've got the arms working and the club is swinging closer to the plane line and so you can tee it even higher than that if you want to if you're really sort of struggling with this you can actually tee it even higher and it's a really good way of improving your skill and your awareness so we got Luca doing that and then we said right hit some golf balls by getting the arms flatter now what was happening it was Luca was still hitting some poor strikes still hitting some shanks still hitting some ground first so I'm like okay we need to do some more stuff so what I did I got my head cover and I said let's get some negative feedback in here let's to cre create some awareness on things so what I did you may want to get close in yeah, here yeah. So really just to show here is I placed the cover just outside the golf ball like that close enough so if I were to strike it at the middle you want to get maybe a little closer there yeah if I was to strike it out the middle I'll obviously won't hit the cover but if I was to hit it at the hosel I'll hit the cover there so basically I wanted him to hit some shots and if he 
hit the cover, he knew exactly what happened. The club was still maybe coming a little over, over the swing plane. So the first shot that we did, first <laughs> shot we did, Luca did a golf swing, bang, the cover's gone 30 <laughs> to 40 yards down the driving range. I, I wish like, you'd got that on video. <laughs> I wish I'd got that on video. <laughs> But I'm like, okay, look, that's great feedback for him. Great awareness of what's going on there. Now what we needed to do is the third phase, which was add in some coordination. So what we'd really made Luca aware of was his arms and his body. So he's like, okay, I can get my arms and my body working. But what he didn't have the awareness of, where, where the hell is this golf club? What is going on with the club head here? Because what he thought he was doing was going to hit the golf ball and he hit the cover. So the way I want to explain this is we're going to work a little bit on coordination. Think about when you have a practice swing. Why are practice swings so easy? So we can, we, we all have the best practice swings. You know, beautiful rhythm, nice tempo, nice balance. We can shallow the golf club with ease if we need to do that. But the one thing that we don't have to do in practice swings is coordinate the hit. We don't have to coordinate the club face. So it doesn't really matter. But when the golf ball's there, guess what? The coordination needs to kick in and we need to get that. So what I got him to do is to be aware of the arms. But now I said, right, what I want you to do is understand where the club head is and where it's getting back to. So I said, I want you to make some practice swings where you focus on hitting where your club head is there. So we said, right, let's come next to the golf ball. Let's do a few swings where we focus on hitting the ground roughly where that golf ball will be from here and there. So we're on the map when we're doing this. I don't want to take too many divots, but just having some awareness of where the club head is returning to. As soon as we got him quite doing quite a few swings on this, yes, he's, he's getting an idea of the arms working, but now what he's doing, he's going, oh, I, I can start to coordinate where the club head is now. And it was amazing because what happened was we did the first one, few practice swings. I said, right, on this one, I really want you to pay attention to the club head and see if we can hit the golf ball without hitting the cover. First shot he goes, hits it really well, completely misses the cover. I'm like, okay, right, there's something in this. So he's gone from whacking the cover down the range 30 yards to having some awareness of where the club head is, and then he rips it. The great thing what happened as well when we did this, if Luca did a poor practice swing and hit the ground way before the golf ball, he didn't then go to a shot and hit it. He waited to get the right feeling to go, oh yeah, that was about right, that felt good. If he did a bad practice swing, he'd go, no, let me do another one, that wasn't quite right. Felt what went on there. So he was learning in that lesson, not only the movements he needed to do to improve, but also he was getting some feedback to go, where's this club when I'm swinging? And that is a big thing, because the best players in the world have, a, I'd say, a hyper awareness of what's going on with the club head, but also the club face throughout the swing. So look, it's really important to have some awareness of what you're trying to change in the golf swing, but having some negative feedback in here and having some awareness on the coordination was, look, it made a huge difference to Luca, and I definitely think it could help you if you start integrating that into your practice sessions. So what I like about this is Andy has shared exactly everything, the steps that we go through every time we give a lesson, and it's important for you to have that sort of system yourself if you're looking at your own, your own game. So noticing how high the arms are, putting in some negative feedback, and having that awareness and that coordination, which is something that we all need help with, especially someone like you. Especially someone like me. <laughs> but if you take a look at the before and after now, you'll see the arms across the chest a little bit more in the backswing makes a huge difference but ultimately the downswing is the most important thing and you can see now in that downswing how that club is pretty much on plane and you can see how much it's improved that strike right at the middle didn't hit the cover well done Luca in making some great progress during that lesson how would you like to have myself and Andy as your coaches if that's the case and you want to get better at golf then you need to make sure you check out meandmygolf.com which you can do by clicking that link there or you could just simply download the me and my golf app